Hey everybody, I know it's been forever since I have been on. Um, Alexa, stop. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, I don't even know what I was yapping about on my last video. Can't even tell you, so I am just going to give you guys an update of where I think I stopped. <laughs> um, excuse the mannequin in the back. I'm going to talk about my new ventures in just a second. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am 28 weeks. Let me make sure. I think I'm 27. And then I'll be 28 on Monday. Hold on. Oh, no, I am 28 weeks. Okay. I'm 28 weeks. And according to my What to Expect app, my babies are the size of a big cauliflower. So I have two big cauliflowers growing in my belly as of now. Um, so that's really, really exciting to hear about. But with twins, it's double exciting. Double the mess going on up in there. Um... <clears throat> me just trying to keep up with both kids, well, all three, because Kennedy is um, here physically, but symptoms at 28 weeks are really just the same as they've always been, just really tight in, tight in my stomach. Um, I'm definitely more out of breath than I used to be, but that's kind of hard to measure because I've been out of breath since... The beginning of this pregnancy nothing like with Kennedy my my shortness of breath started um, <clears throat> in the second trimester beginning of third so what else I was put on bed rest excuse me I went to the hospital I was really having really bad Braxton Hicks I thought they were contractions on the way to the hospital I had a really 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 oh my god when I tell y'all that pain was just like it was so bad. I started crying. And after that one, I didn't have any more. It was really weird because they were coming back to back. And I would say, well, when I say back to back, they were about five minutes on average apart. And it just hurt so bad. And then after that really big one, and it lasts for, I would say, about a good 30 seconds. It felt like it last. It may have only lasted 15 seconds, but when you're in that pain, it seems like it's just never gonna stop. So once I got to the hospital, once I had that one, which was about five minutes before I arrived at the hospital, I didn't have any more. I felt better. I felt relieved. Um, so other than that, nothing else has really been going on. I have a sonogram appointment scheduled for the 23rd. I have a regular checkup on the 19th, but we know how those go. It's just checking the heartbeat, <clears throat> measuring my stomach. Actually, he hasn't even started. He might start measuring my stomach on the 19th because he hasn't even started doing that. He's just, my doctor's just been doing the heartbeat and then I leave, you know, a urine sample and I'm pretty much out of there. So that's it for that. The, the baby shower, I'm having a baby shower on December, not December, oh God, July 15th. <laughs> We're going to do a pool party instead of a traditional baby shower. I'm also not going to do baby shower games. I know y'all are just probably like, oh my God, like how boring are you? <laughs> I know with Kennedy, we did it all. We did the gender reveal. We did the baby shower games, did the whole shebang, but this time, I really just want to eat and eat and party. <laughs> like, that's it. So, um, I've decided, and this year it's not going to be co-ed. Um, we're just going to, you know, hang out by the pool, go swimming, eat. Um, and instead of 
doing the games, we're going to do three raffles. Um, so we'll do a diaper raffle. Whoever brought diapers get to stick their name in like a little bucket or something. And then we'll just give out the raffle tickets for the other two and just kind of raffle off throughout the throughout the event. Um, <clears throat> once again, I just really, I wasn't, I, I don't really want to get into the, all the baby shower games this time because I just want to enjoy it and enjoy myself. And, um, I don't know. I just want to party and eat. That's all. What else is going on? My last ultrasound, we weren't really able to get, excuse me, my last ultrasound, we weren't really able to get measurements of baby B's legs because he was like face down. Um, we did find out baby A was breech. He is breech. We are already scheduled for a C-section because I had a C-section with Kennedy, so I'm not really nervous um, about that. That's really not bothering me as much as it would have if I had never had a C-section. What else? Um, so yes, he's breech, and while he's breech, baby B was kind of turned with his legs tucked under, and he was like face down. So usually their face is here on the camera. He was more turned this way. Um, just not cooperating at all. Both of the kids were in there playing, wrestling. I don't know what they were doing, but they just did not feel like being bothered with cameras or anything. So it was fun to watch them interact with each other, but we didn't really get much accomplished. So I'm fine with that because um, we have another one coming up anyway. What else can I talk about? Names. You guys, we finally got names. Um, I love the names. I just want to make sure that this is the, these are the names that we're going to stick with because we've changed so many times. Um, so we're going to go with the junior, Damien. Um, my husband's name is Damien, so one of them will be a junior, Damien Jr. And the other one's name is Deacon. I don't want to change the names anymore. I am done thinking about names. I fell in love with both of those names, and so did my husband. So I've actually been referring to them. This is the first time I think I've been referring to them by their names that we've come up with. So I think these are it. So Damien and Deacon. Those are the names that we have for our little ones. I think that's it. Oh, and this little thing in the back. I to keep Kennedy has started daycare. Um, and to keep me busy, I started an eBay shop online. Today I'm actually putting up my first item. So if anyone once once I get flowing and get the get a good flow of things, I'll get everybody the information to my store so you can start ordering stuff. Um I won't have any baby things. I'll try to get baby items, but that's really not my focus. Um, but I will have clothes and shoes and some accessories and things like that. It'll just, excuse me, give me something to do. I know the twins are going to keep me busy once they get here, but um, have a little extra income. And we, we don't really know what's going on with um, Damien Jr.'s finances when it comes to his medical um, care. So it's best that we get started now and just um, save up, you know, even with insurance or, you know, it's always something that you're going to have to pay out of pocket with insurance, whether you have insurance, Medicaid, somebody's not going to cover something like, I just want to be prepared. Um, so, and it's always good to have a little extra spending money. <laughs> Other than that, ladies, I'm all done. I'll do a baby baby bump. I'm over here eating a sandwich. I'm starving. That's another thing. I am. I went through a phase where I wasn't eating as much. I wasn't really hungry. That lasts for about two, three days. But now I'm eating everything. I'm hungry at least every, I would say, two and a half hours. About 28 weeks. This is what I'm looking like.
here's the front. My belly button has started poking out. It's been poking out for a while now, but and here's the side. So I don't know. A lot of people keep telling me that I look really small, but it's really not how I feel, but I do appreciate the compliments. So um other than that, I will let you ladies go, and I will talk to you all later, and good luck on those IVF journeys, on those transfers, egg retrieval, and anything else everybody has.